Uh, so what's up guys welcome back this is nick from 3d animation guru and please don't forget subscribe and also hit the um bell to activate the notifications for this video so on this last video i showed you how you can bring some material something like this one here and maybe i can just start again by creating a new level to show you this and this is what we call a new level so if you just go to the uh to the epic game uh like here on the library you can just choose what you want which you're going to download on the market press and install it so if you just choose it you just need to click add like i showed you on my last video and now the everything that you are going you have is going to appear on the content so this is where you have the main folder this way find everything so if like you have opened something you see like i've opened the palagon uh, paragon wrath and maybe you have opened the character it will open those things here so if you want to go back to the content you just need to click content and then you're going back there so like for the background that i had uh, the uh, things that i had here the spaceship interior it was see this one the spaceship interior so i'm just going to click i showed you and then you go to the map and on the map i just loaded the demonstration so i just need to double click demonstration and is going to be loaded on my project then i showed you the hot key like moving up and down i told you uh, q is moving up e is moving down a is moving to the left d is moving to the light side s is zooming out and w is zooming in so like you can see here, there are so many lights like this one they have the refraction if you just want to see they'll be indicated here this one show you on the last video we have this one the um martina actor is called and everything and then we have things like this one is a light spotlight you have all those things will be appearing here if you want to delete them here you can just uh click like if you want to delete this one you can just click there then come here or you just click the delete on your mouse or you go to edit and delete if you want to co cut or copy or duplicate or rename you can just click that one visibility if you want to hide them you don't want to see them you can just click and then you have the level and everything so you just need to light like, click and then you go to the edit on the edit you have everything so we are not going so you just want you don't want to see all those things here when you're doing your own project what you just need to do is just to click g just click inside select something then click g and then they are gone now on this video i wanted to show you how you can start now adding the clear the cinematic sequence so that you can do your animation and everything so if you the main purpose of this one is not to create game that's what not what we were wanted to do we wanted just to start doing the cinematic thing so if i click this one like if you see those two arrows here if i click it i have this option here the cinematic and this one ask me add level sequence so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the cinematic. This is how I do. Go to this, click here, go to the cinematic, say add level sequence. Then it will open for you this table. Before I do anything, I like to do something. I like to go to the content and then I right click my mouse and then it open for me all this other table here. If I right click it have this one, then here we have like you can create a new folder. So click, click, create new folder. And I like to name this folder cinematic. I'll show you the reason why. So when I name it cinematic, then I just click enter to save it. And then I have that folder there. And now what I'm going to do is that um, I come now here and I say cinematic. Then add level sequence, click add level sequence. Then you have your folder here cinematic. Just double click, open it. And this one you, here down, you see like you can name this one the level sequence you have new level sequence so i like to name this one master so and then i just click save and now you can see you have the sequence here created it was not there so sometimes this sequence will not appear it might uh, if you are using for the first time it might uh, maybe appear like that one but you want to dock it here so you just want to put it here so what you do is just you click here on this the name here and then you try to move it and then you bring it down there and then you can just dock it there now we have created the master sequence so let me show you something if now you go to a cinematic cinematic folder you open you see the master is there but what we do we don't do anything on this master 
we like to create some short because in Unreal Engine, when you're doing something, you can create some different short. And then from this short, we'd help you to like to be able to create some cameras and then to change your scene. So it will be so easy if you create a new short. So I, what I do is that I just click, light click, and then have this option animation. And what I do is that I create a level sequence. Create a level sequence and then this level sequence, I just name it short zero or let me just create zero one and then say enter now those everything like you see this why i named this folder to make my work organized if you don't do this one they just appear here on the content they just appear here and sometimes if you have so many things on your um project you cannot be able to uh to allege them or use them the way you want so now you go to the sequence now this is the master if you see here you have the master now i want to add my short one so what i do is that i come here to the track if you see here the track click the track and then i go to the shoot track and then i have this one here open then on the shoot track on this press button you can just click and then you see your shoot zero one just click and open now you have this one here if you see here on this one let me just first of all try to um uh, explain the sequence this is how the sequence works if i go back to them this we are in the master we have the numbers of frames here on the top which you can increase or decrease we have there here like if you want to bring it to the back this is your prehead the start is zero sometimes you have all this, this minus because you may create shorts if you click shorts you can also create start with the minus so and then this is the add one here Sometimes you'd like on your master like to add some frame like you can only say you have only one, 165 frames which they are very small. So sometimes I just like to work with the like 2000 frames. I just click enter and now I'll just bring this on the add one here to the add and then I drag also this one to make it big. And now like you can see here with their two layer this one is too dark and this one is uh, like not uh, so dark because if you double click your short one which will open here your short one contain only 165 frames so you also want to make like when you do your animation that your short is on like 2000 so just light here 2000 frames enter and now you can also drag this one on your short one and put them there so um this is how you create your sequence level sequence and how you just add your short one and master so on the next video what i'm going to do is that we are now going to start now adding some character and i'll show you how now to start bringing the character and how to start animating your character on the sequencer the sequencer is used for you to start making the animation and making the character look there so you can do so many things so on my next video before I go, I'm just going out to start explaining how the, what is the sequence and how it works. So thanks you for watching this video and hope you to see you on my next video. Bye for now.